Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Ask Brian Chong. Today will be the third video for stock control, where I will discuss about stock adjustment. If you want to refer to the previous stock control video, please refer to my channel. Let's log into SK Accounting software. For all companies that practice stock control, you need to do one thing called stock take. And by doing stock take, then you need to do a stock adjustment. First thing, we go to stock on top. Then we go to print stock physical worksheet, apply, preview, okay. We print out this stock take sheet, okay. So by using stock take sheet, you ignore the book quantity first and you directly go and count your stock and write down the actual physical quantity in this piece of paper. Then you open your stock and look for stock adjustment. Go to new. You need to right click any column title, field chooser, and select book quantity, put next to quantity, and also physical quantity, drag and drop to right side of the quantity. To a lot of accounting software out there, you need to manually go and select each item. Then let's say two quantity is missing, you need to negative two. So there is a lot of work. But using SK accounting software, no need. What you need to do is put the stock adjustment and stock physical worksheet side by side. Click on one of the item in stock physical worksheet. Click Control A to select all. Then you just drag, drop. All the item will come in. And what you need to do is very simple. For example, black bag. In system, it should have 98. But after a physical count, you only found 95. Three is missing. What we need to do, of course, we need to adjust the quantity in the system according to the actual stock quantity. So that's why it needs to minus three. Instead of doing the mathematics yourself, let the system do for you. What you need to do is click on the physical quantity, the actual quantity you counted, 95, enter, and you can see the system do the mathematics for you. So just do the same way, follow your printout that you write down the actual quantity and do the adjustment accordingly. That's all. Why we want to do the stock adjustment is, of course, we want to make sure the quantity inside the system reflect the actual quantity. And secondly, most important is, we need to know the stock value of all your stock in hand. To do this, go to stock, print stock card, apply, preview, and you see the in and out of your individual stock quantity and at the last page, you will see a grand total. This value is the total value of your stock item. How much all your stock worth. And this value, you need to key under GL, maintain stock value. Okay, you can do it once a month or at least once a year because this will have impact to your management report. So Nisha, hope all these three video will help you in your inventory control. For others, if you have any questions, please post at my Facebook, YouTube, or my TikTok. I try to answer accordingly and do invite your friends and colleagues to follow any of my channel. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.